Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of me trying World of Warcraft blind. Thank you so much for all the support on the last episode. I'm so glad you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. And thank you so much for all the lovely comments. I really appreciate you guys. And of course, since you guys did seem to enjoy it, I am very open to making this a series, though I may have just done that anyways. <laughs> I am still doing the free trial to level 20, but I think sometime this week I'll probably go ahead and get it and just, you know, continue this series. I'm having fun, so... I don't know if this will be like a full length series, like if we'll try to get through like everything and then start covering the new stuff. I don't really know. I guess we'll just see how this goes. I'm just kind of winging it and just doing it whenever I feel like, but I just really appreciate how Doot is just blocking the space vibes with her butt just this whole intro too. I really appreciate it, Doopy. I appreciate you. In the last episode, we pretty much did just do the tutorial, and then we arrived in... Orgrimmar? There are a lot of new names for me to try to learn. Like, all of them are vaguely familiar, because Ryder tells me about Warcraft lore all the time. But then trying to put the names to the places and the people sometimes is a little overwhelming. I'm trying. We got back to the capital of the Horde. But let's just go ahead and get into it. Now, admittedly, I have been playing a little bit with Ryder, but I've only been going on to Alliance characters. I'm trying to keep the Horde new. At least for a little while, I'd like to keep it all for recording purposes, so... Just wanted to play a little bit with Ryder, you know? Also, just went ahead and made a bunch of characters last night, because I was having fun. I don't like how his pants are the same color as his arms. That really frightened me last night. <laughs> but yeah, we are still playing as our mage. Orgrimmar, I did get it right, okay. But yeah, I had been playing a warrior whenever I wasn't recording. I haven't quite figured out which one I like more. I do think being ranged, at least while I'm a beginner, was probably a little bit more preferable. But being a warrior is fun. I will have to reacquaint myself with my abilities though real quick. Okay, it does look like, yeah, we just need to turn this quest in. We the did just finish Exile's no Reach. Behind. It's good to be back in Orgrimmar. I must report to the war chief, but I know what you can do in the meantime. Okay, we get a new robe. That's nice. We can leave our normal dude clothes behind. I assume these are a little bit more uh, aesthetically pleasing, hopefully. Don't let your guard down. And we've already reached level 10. Oh well, it's fine. I'm enjoying myself enough to where I think, I think it's fine to just go ahead and get the subscription. And maybe soon get Shadowlands, but I want to kind of catch up first a little bit which I have a lot of catching up to do. Anyways, the war chief will be waiting for our mission report from Exile's Reach. I must deliver it at once. For now, Cork Fizzle Pop will show you around the city. Orgamar has much to offer, so explore it as you see fit. I'll send for you once I've given my report to the war chief. Okay, more dealing with the goblin. Danger, the nasty, so nasty the little goblin. It's just Cork will show you around the city something now. about them. This thing, it, it frightens me. I don't know why. It's just, it's ungodly. It's bad. <laughs> But we will talk to him. Ready to make hey Adamo, long time no see, am I right? Well, actually, kinda. It has been like a week and a half, maybe. Warlord Grimax asked me to show you the sights. Let's go. Okie dokie. Orkamar is a big city, way too big to explore on foot. Warlord Grimax has arranged for you to receive a mount to help you get around. I actually already do have a fancier mount than the one they're going to give me. Because way back when there was like a Heroes of the Storm thing going on, I don't even quite remember it. I just know Ryder was wanting to do it because he also played World of Warcraft at the time and I was just playing Heroes of the Storm, so I was like, I'll just go ahead and do it with him, why not? So I have a nice mount from that. Anyways, I'm really blathery, I'm sorry. She said speak to Rohaka at the stables, but I can't seem to remember the way there. Don't worry, Adamo, all we need to do is ask a guard for directions. Alright, they will help us whenever we need it. And that is what we are doing. You look like a guard to me. A grunt? I assume. Yes, you are. Okay. We're looking for a stable master. I assume, yeah, that's probably, yes, pointing us to it. Do I, yeah, I need to talk to him again. All right. Well, he's under a bunch of stuff. It. <laughs> Looks like it. that's fine. Is he leading or am I leading? That's fine. I think I'm leading. All right. Stick close, to me, kid. stick close to him, but, oh, no, no. He is leading. Right. I guess. I suppose. It's very busy here, by the way. I mean, me and Ryder were playing pretty late last night, but, um, yeah, there wasn't nearly this many people in Stormwind. Oh, wait, I didn't even put on my new robe. Can we just do that real quick? I never put on my helmet either that I got. I need to keep my eyes out for... I don't remember exactly what it's called. It's like transmogging or whatever. We ran into one. He's talking about something. I'm not even... I'm not listening. 
But I know you can remove your helmet that way, so should I wait until then? Do I really hate helmets that much? Yes, I do, actually. I probably passed one by back there. I'm not really sure. I don't feel like we were very far into Stormwind when we saw one, but, you know, obviously things are different here. <laughs> How does it even look? Oh. Time is money, friend. It's, <laughs> Let's go. it's certainly interesting, isn't it? You know what? I'll humor them. I'll keep it on for now. I didn't even really look at our new robes. All right. Our tabard is a little bit weird with it. Maybe I should take that off now. Stop yelling at me, man. I am taking my sweet time. I am exploring. I'm taking in the scenery. There's nothing wrong with that. I don't need some little goblin yelling at me. I will punt you. Something I just really like about World of Warcraft is the style of it. I think I got like at least one or two comments talking about how like much more beautiful ESO was. And while ESO is You're more realistic there. and it is the very beautiful, there's nothing wrong with being stylized either. And obviously this is an older game, though they have gone back and changed models and whatnot. But I still think it's really pretty. You can be stylized and beautiful. You can be realistic and beautiful. Time is or you can be stylized and Let's ugly. Go. And but I'm still right behind you. I, I'm about to eat this goblin. But yeah, you can be very realistic or very stylized and still look bad or the other way around, you know? Though the proportions of the characters kind of <laughs> gets me every now and then on here. All right, we need to speak with Rohaka. You are Rohaka right behind me. All right, I do think we need to- Oh, we get a red hawk strider. We got like a goat on the alliance. Not that we'll be using either of those because I have something cooler. Warlord Gumax told me you'd be coming to the stables to pick up your mount, but before you go charging into battle, you'll need to learn how to ride it first. Speak with Kildar. Kildar? Kildar, yes. When you're ready to learn how to ride, right. I think we just have to pay a little bit of a fee. It is obviously going to parallel what was happening on the other side. We will just go ahead and take that. And hole. I should... Oh, I forgot specializations. Okay. Uh, well, I already see fire right here. Adamo's a fiery wizard. I guess I should read and see what the other things do, but we're probably gonna do fire. Arcane manipulates raw arcane magic, destroying enemies with overwhelming power. I would assume all magic kind of does that. Just a thought, but... <laughs> yeah, you get just more arcane sort of stuff. General magic things. Or there's fire, which focuses on the pure essence of fire, assaulting enemies with combustive flames. It's what you'd expect. And this freezes enemies in their tracks. Yeah. All the simple standard stuff. We will just go ahead and go with fire, I think, because it's the theme I want to go with. Yeah, we're gonna do that. I mean, it acted like it changed stuff, but it's still the same. I don't know. Is that- Fireball is different. Do I already have that? Can I replace Frostbolt with that? Is that my new, like, basic move? Let me look. Oh, we have a new little passive here, too. Just a passive burning effect, all right. Yeah, 2.3 seconds cast, so I assume we'd want to replace Frostbolt with that. Just our little basic move. That's what I'm gonna do, at least. I know there are builds and whatnot you can look up, but... I'm gonna explore on my own first for a little while before I worry about builds. Try and figure out what I like, you know? And we should... Oh god, you, you don't have to tell me everything. I'm, I'm kind of figuring it out, maybe. I think I could. Oh! Where'd I get this? Is that just something Blood Elves come I, I don't know. But this is what I had. <laughs> So that is what we will go ahead and use. Oh yeah, it does say it's from a vendor in a zone, while well, this one says it's from a promotion, so... I don't know, it's probably just something you come with. But I think we get another mount once we talk to you, too. Zug, zug. But you know, keeping up the fire theme, the I horn. might as well use the little flame saber. Look how cool he looks. Oh, there's a motorcycle under me, that's a little awkward. <laughs> there he is! Oh, it's your motorcycle! Gross. Oh, it has flames on it too, though. I, I can respect that. Hey, Adamo, have you decided on a combat specialization yet? Just did. Since you're a mage, you already know about the different classes available to adventurers. But did you know that there are also areas of specialization within each class? Kind of figured that out. It is important. Your specialty determines your combat role in a party, as well as the kinds of weapons and abilities you will use. Let's go speak with Phoenix Art Shrine to learn more about specializations. I think I'm already pretty set on what I have, but I will humor this little man. I knew from the start, before I even decided that I was going to play World of Warcraft, that Dama was a fire mage, so I'm keeping to his theme. One thing about it, Stormwind is definitely prettier. At least more of my sorta aesthetic. How many times are vibe and aesthetic going to come out of my mouth per episode? I don't know, I'm so sorry. Ah, you're over here. Oh, it's another goblin, dang it! <laughs> I'm surrounded by them. Time is 
money, friend. Did you? Oh, <laughs> what was that voice? Terrible, just terrible. I should probably stop being so mean to the goblins. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and teach me about my specialization options. <laughs> Solid choice, friend. It's essentially the same thing I just read, so... Right back! I, I don't Watch think... Out. I don't think we really need to discuss it more. Excellent choice of specialization, Adamo. Feel free to test out your new abilities on the training dummies outside on the upper level of the building. You know what? Maybe I will. I want to go explode something. We'll talk to you in a minute. I'm going up. I assume he means up here. Probably. God, this is a lot of stairs. Is this even right? I don't think this is right. <laughs> Okay, well, it was all for nothing. Didn't he say the upper level? Can I just not read? I don't know. I don't see dummies. I just climbed a million stairs for no reason. Out here? Oh, over here. I see. Explode it! It's probably just going to be the same thing. Bet it is. Wow. <laughs> How exciting. Let's talk to you now. I don't know about you, but I'm in the mood for some good old-fashioned recreation. Why don't we head over to the Wyvern's Tale and cool off with a few pints of Coca cola <laughs> While we're there, speak with the innkeeper Nufa to make the wyvern's tail your new home. That way, if you ever find yourself stranded without a flight master nearby, you can use your hearthstone to return to the inn. Not only is it faster than a wyvern, but you'll save yourself some dough in the process. Okay. Yeah, all just pretty standard casual stuff. Can I jump down this? Yes. It's probably gonna hurt a little bit. Let's aim for that. We're fine. And I suppose this is it right here. I guess, yeah, make this in your home? Never yes. So I think it's just kind of like in RuneScape whenever you'd like just teleport back to Lumbridge, you know, draw the little circle. But we can just do that to this inn. Oh, hello. I've been looking for you all over Orgrimmar, Adamo. Warlord Grimax has delivered her mission report to the War Chief. The Horde has need of you once again. I was ordered to find you and deliver the message without delay. It has been an honor to fight alongside you, Adamo. Loktar Ogar. I probably pronounced that right. <laughs> So, all right. Now oh, we also have an option to talk to this guy again. Ready Do I want to? Gold? I guess I'll let I him know. I always knew you'd make a name for yourself. Watch your back out there, will you? And uh, put in a good word with the war chief for me. Sure. I never want to look upon you again. Now, uh, one thing I noticed whenever I was wandering around Stormwind is uh, I kept getting very lost. <laughs> so that might happen. Here, Ryder said he found Orgrimmar a little bit easier to navigate, so hopefully it won't be too bad. But I'm just wandering around, and you know, I should probably summon my mount. That'd be a little bit faster. Just a little. You know, do I have any stuff to sell? I do, actually. Can I sell stuff to you? I, I assume I can. You. Yes. We're gonna go ahead and do that. Ryder told me anything with this little gold icon just means it's junk, so I should probably go ahead and sell it. Oh, I never even used our mount. I should probably do that. Also, those are old pants. We probably don't need our old clothes. And I can help. Yeah, let's go ahead and use that. Just move that stuff down there. All of our jerky. Okay, it looks like this is the place, but I don't know how to get in here. Is this the entrance? Yes, okay. I think? Probably. Very good. Ooh, like those lanterns. Focus good, you're here. Mission. The war chief wishes to speak with you. For the horde. The war chief has requested to meet you in person. Lady Sylvanas was impressed with the prowess and courage you displayed during our mission to Exile's Reach. Now that you have arrived, I will make the introduction. Okay. I mean, I'm still just like what a level level ten shit wizard. But, you know, I'll help. I'll try my Don't best. This is the recruit I spoke of. It seems you have an eye for talent, Warlord Grimax. Your skills come highly recommended. I will make use of them. Okay. To ensure our victory over the Alliance, the Horde must add strength to its ranks. I feel like a two-timer. I've been playing on Nathanos, both. Who doesn't, though? Brief our new arrival on the mission at hand. Of course, my queen. We will not disappoint you. I am certain you won't. Threatening. We've rescued Princess Talanji of the Zandalari from the stockades in Stormwind. Her boat is on the way to Zandalar, but the Alliance dogs are in pursuit. We need the might of the Zandalari navy in order to win this war. The Alliance cannot be allowed to capture the princess again. We'll travel by air to provide assistance, and then ensure the Zandalari join the Horde. Come. Okay. I will make my way to a wyvern to rendezvous with the princess's boat. Try not to get yourself killed. <laughs> They're much more threatening here, aren't they? A little rude. Ah, I see. I was like, where are these wyverns? They have appeared. Well, I see. Do I get a choice? I think it's this one. We'll go ahead and get on that. 
seems like we're going to be doing a lot of this, aren't we? <laughs> oh, this is a very weird wyvern, too. It is also a lion. Were the ones before like that? Maybe they were. <laughs> Ooh, we have a cutscene. It appears the Alliance dogs have lost our scent. Good, good. Our journey is almost over. That looks painful. <laughs> I hope the War Chief's faith is well placed. She seems very powerful, certain, in control. It is an honor to serve my queen. My princess is also strong-willed and sure of herself. Our king has always found her to be challenging. <laughs> oh, mighty Rezan, as always, you come when I ask your aid. Speak, and I will listen. I have sought the aid of the Horde, but my father may not agree with my actions. Advise me. You are the lower of kings and queens. My eyes see much. They see your boldness, your power, and enemies who fear both, and those who seek your demise are here. We need cover! Head for that fog bank! The sails are dead! We've got no wind! Well, at least she's not concerned about it. <laughs> no worries at all. I mean, I guess if I could just summon a big T-Rex to do that for me too, I wouldn't be all that worried about it either, you know? Like... Good for her, good for her. <laughs> Very powerful, huh? Good job. <laughs> we are home. Dramatic. Okay, <laughs> I don't know what that was. I'm gonna ignore it. Ooh, look at this place. <gasps> oh, the names stay there. <laughs> I wish they wouldn't. There we go. Man, I just, uh, I love exploring new games. It makes me so happy. The Dark Lady has placed her trust in us. We will not fail her, Adamo. I'm trying, man. <gasps> look at the fancy dinosaur. I, I love it so much. Champion of Dehord, welcome to the city of Zoldazar. Capital of the Zandalari Empire, the jewel of all troll civil civilizations. I would have you ride by my side so we might discuss matters without prying ears close at hand. Okay, let me summon my cat. Be adorned with the skull there we go. <laughs> Just ran over a person, but you know, that's probably fine. We have only a few moments alone. There are things about my kingdom that you must know. Zandala okay. is beset by enemies, both within and without. This is why I went seeking the Horde, and why I call upon you, one of its greatest heroes. Ah, have I really done Blood that much, though? <laughs> surge across our northern border. They drag our people off to the swamps of Nazmia, never to be seen again. Meanwhile, there's an truly council. Ugh. Scheming politicians and decrepit old tusks dismisses this threat. They convince my father that nothing need be done. Princess, what do you That is far with? enough, Horde Scum. Oh, how rude! <laughs> exploring, not negotiating okay, he's a little bit mad. Horde. You are sworn to protect this kingdom. If you will not do your duty, then I must look for someone who will. <gasps> the best way to protect the kingdom 
would be for me to banish this thing to Baldoom. The Horde has no place in Zandala. Thing? Oh, Their really? fate will not be decided by you, General. Nor you. Your father is displeased that you have brought these creatures here. He has ordered me to collect you. Are y'all done with the conversation? I think they are. <laughs> Didn't want to interrupt. You stand before General Jacquezette, Lord of the Armies of Zandalar, enforcer of her seas and bringer of war. And I do not like you. <laughs> reminds me of reminds me of just a Morrowind character, you know? At least they're honest. They're upfront about it and honest. What more can you ask for? It took years to earn my place here after your horde laid waste to my people. Oh, you will not undo what I have built. I will see you kneel before King R Rastaka... Rostakon. That's probably it. I will watch you beg as he lets me take your head for a trophy. Cool. I will fling your corpse into the wastes of Voldoon. What a warm welcome indeed. Her highness may object, but she is not queen yet. Come, let us fly to your fate. I got my Looking mind. forward to it. Uh. Oh. Oh, we have to get on this and leave you then. Okay, that's a little bit sketchy, but I guess I guess I have no other choice in the matter. Let's go. Know this. Oh no, she's here. She's here. Set in his ways, but he is most observant. I would wager he already knows of your role in freeing me from Stormwind. Just show respect and let him do the talking, and hopefully he will not throw you off the pyramid. Great. Well. I feel like, am I missing stuff from older expansions, maybe? I probably am. I'm probably missing a whole lot of stuff, but, uh, yeah. We'll just go with it. I'm enjoying this nice little view we're getting- Oh, See, look at that! That's so nice! Love that architecture. Mwah. Love me some good design, yes. It sounds like not all of the Zinkuli Council are happy you are here. This is going to be interesting. Yeah, go ahead and take Make me to the king! See your enemy. What's the worst that could happen? My king! The Horde has only come to steal our Nervi for their undead war chief. This champion defied the might of Stormwind to save Zul and me. Such bravery merits an audience, father. Ah! Enough! I will decide what to do with this outsider. Jacques speaks true. You seek our fleet's might against the Alliance. But my daughter is right as well. Rescuing her showed great courage, a trait I admire. Alanji worries that I do not see our true enemies. Know that I am not as blind as she fears. Let us see if the Horde can prove its worth to Zandala. Let them stay in the Great Seal as my guests. For now, only the Zandalari may walk those sacred halls. The Lord steers. The law is what I say it is, for so long as I am king. The eyes of the kingdom rest upon you, champion. This day, I name you Speaker of the Horde. Well, that went a lot better than it did on the Alliance. <laughs> there, I got arrested immediately. So that's nice. <laughs> you your deeds have reached my ears okay. before your feet ever set foot in my land. It is time we spoke. Your horde has grown powerful, eclipsing some of the troll empires in its magnitude. For saving my daughter, you have earned a right to a presence in my city. Since my daughter has taken such a fondness to you, you may join her in the Great Seal beneath us. The servants there will answer to you now. Talanji seems excited by whatever she has planned for your people. I look forward to being amused by it later. Solani can show you a way down that does not involve falling. Okay! Oh, she has all the vibes. <laughs> God, I wish that were me. Alright, following Zolani. Do I need to talk to you? Greetings. Y no. Oh, she walks very slow. <laughs> you have such long legs! Look how tall you are! My god! Walk faster. This will take you to the chamber below where Princess Talanji is waiting for you. Mind a step. That's a bit of a step, don't you think? Um... Okay, it comes back up. Glad I didn't just jump and make a fool of myself right next to this person. Seems like we had just missed it a little bit. <laughs> I was able to arrange for your companions to be flown here without General Jacrezet interfering. You need only signal them. Okay, cool. I assume, yes, it is with this banner. Well, let's do it then. Hopefully, uh, you know, they 
won't all be mad about this <laughs> big horde flag here now, but you know, it's probably fine. We have some friends here now. Come, hero. Let me show you around. I miss Throg. It is I hope said Throg that is doing great good. Seal is one of the only things still standing that is older than the Zandalari Empire. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, we are just having a little walk around, it seems. My father keeps many of his treasures here in the royal vault. Thanks for telling me. Oh, we actually do you can explore find the your treasure. Nightborn friend in the Hall of Ancient Paths. Come see me when you are done looking around. Uh, yeah, sure, we'll go take a look around the treasury, I suppose. Hi. Am I really supposed to be in here? I don't feel like I should. They they leave it very open with one whole guard. I mean, I guess there are probably more guards on the outside. Oh, there are horde flags everywhere in here now. That was fast. Princess Talanji was kind enough to inform us of an old portal network we might be able to tap into. For the horn. Why, hello. Okay. <laughs> See what you can do with the portal system here. We will need supply lines to the Horde capitals. She called Champion, him a friend, but I- You seem to be on the right track for gaining the trust of the Zandalari. <laughs> Once again, I feel I like I'm missing something. I must my other duties. Good luck. Oh, we have a dude again. Hello. My father believes he is indulging me. He has ruled for 200 years, many lifetimes of trolls. In his mind, the threats that face our kingdom are minor. I've seen too much to believe that. So since my father and his advisors would not help, I turned to someone who would. Your war chief needs our fleet, and I need her champions. I have a battle plan here on what to do. Choose your first mood. M mood? Move. I don't know how to read, we know that. If the horde helps my people, then I will help the horde. Okie dokie. We have once again leveled. Now we have a map before us. Uh huh. Well, we only have one thing. She said to choose our first move, but it seems there's only one. At least I don't have to panic about choices. King Rastakon, R Rastakon is an ancient ruler who is not quick to trust new allies. We must earn his trust if we are going to earn his fleet. Zuldazar is the seat of the power for the Zandalar Empire and a good place to start in winning over these potential allies. Speak with the princess again. Okay, straight back to it. <laughs> My father's trust is not easily earned. Believe me, that's the whole quest. There it is. Well, now that you are settled in, you have best go speak with my father. You can find him upon the throne. His advisor's close at hand, pouring poison in his ear, no doubt. The lift behind you take- or can take you to the golden throne above us. Where is it? How do I get to this? The lift behind- oh, probably over here. Right, yes, I see now. Big cow people! Beautiful! Love those dudes. Oh, yeah, that was the same elevator as earlier. Duh. Guess we'll speak to the king first. Looks like we have a couple other quests up here too, though. Very prompt. <laughs> now, I have need of your hands. Your My prophet is a loyal servant, but he has his own ideas of how things must be. I'm sending him to Talgurub to deal with a mess of his own making. One of his pupils, a witch doctor by the name of Voljamba, has taken the Gurubashi Enclave as his own and has ousted my guards. Meet Zol at Talgorob and ensure this nuisance is dealt with. Do not let him get distracted. Okay, so we're meeting Zol the Prophet in Talgorob. Except, what do you want? You made this mess, my prophet. Now go clean it up. As you will it, it will be so. Only, I have foreseen that Boljamba will not die by my hand. Then take our new speaker with you and be done with it. Ah, yes. They have proven themselves I was useful. just kind of there. Like, I've just been kind of here, just standing. <laughs> I've not done much. King Rastakhan has given me orders to investigate the harbor of Zandalar. They claim Princess Talanji has levied against General Jacrezet for failing to maintain the safety of our kingdom is a serious accusation. For this task, I would have you join me so that I may have outside perspective. When you're ready, meet me in the Grand Bazaar. Okay, I assume that's closer by than the other one? I think... Oh, there's another quest over there. Yes, okay, I don't know where this one is. Out, uh, out over there, I see. So I guess we'll do that one first. Well, I guess we'll see what you want, by of course. By whose authority do you address me? What? You wanted my help, come on. Doopy. Can you believe this, Doopy? They're being a little rude. You there, Speaker of the Horde. 
My spies have told me of dark heresies being practiced in our sacred temple of Zanshul. The king sent Loti and Rahl to deal with the situation, but those two bickering council members are soft on their own followers. We need some more ruthlessly neutral, or someone more ruthlessly neutral. Go meet Wardruid Loti down at the Zo Zocalo. So many names. And she can tell you to rest. All right, so that also Remember, sounds like it's probably somewhat close by. Eyes. Yeah, okay, that one's over there. This one's over here. I guess we'll go ahead and do this one first. We'll just see whatever we run across first. <gasps> Big Owl Man. Wow. Can you imagine having to come up and down all these stairs every day? He'd be so ripped. What is that? Just just an animal, I guess. Okay. Just chilling. Yeah. I got a little too excited about that. My apologies. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's just dinosaurs everywhere. Whoa. <laughs> All right, here's the war druid. Welcome to the steps of Zenshul Adamo. You'll be treading on sacred ground soon. Great, okay. You come at a good time. I have need of a weapon such as yourself. Once again, I've fought a handful of things. Everyone's treating me like a god. I guess that's okay. Yasna spies say there are blood cultists in our ranks. King Rustikon has charged me with tracking down any trolls guilty of practicing blood magic and purging them. Take this totem. Route out those with the stench of blood magic and cleansed him from this holy place. When you're done, tell that lazy hex lord Rawl to get off his perch and help keep this place secure. Find and slay nine crimson cultists in the terrace of the chosen. Very well. All right. Now, am I just going to know that they are a cultist, or do I have to just figure it out somehow? Sniff them out by like talking to them or something. Do I talk? And the lower C caseless. Bah. The lower oh, how rude. <laughs> oh, I used the totem. Duh, I'm a oh, fool. Was it you that insulted me? It was. I'm using it right next to you. Oh, <gasps> I was right. Oh, I shouldn't be this close, though. <laughs> I'm used to being a warrior. You're going to come up to me anyways. It's fine. Let's just let's freeze you. There we go. Oh, God, I kind of forgot my moves again. <laughs> it's fine. We'll get used to it. <laughs> let's try it near these dudes. <laughs> <gasps> they both are. Or is this totem just corrupting them? I don't know. How about you guys? Can you guys also be cultists? No? <laughs> okay, sorry. Yeah, I don't really know if I need to set the totem this close to them. Oh wait, interrupt! Oh, I missed it. I'm trying. I always remember it's a thing I can do, but then just don't do it in time. But I'll get used to it. Okay, let's let's do it a little bit further away. 20 yards? I don't know how to judge that, but this is probably within reach. It is, okay. Well, they're just standing there, too. <laughs> Alright, I'll take it. Wait, we could polymorph one of you. Polymorph him. I forget, that's the thing we could do. Oh no, interrupt! Oh, too late. <laughs> I'm trying. I am trying. Just plop that down right there, you know? Maybe back up a little. Yeah. You know, just go ahead and polymorph that one. <laughs> oh no! Interrupt. <gasps> I did it! I'm so powerful. Oh, oh, okay. I did it in time. She was about to cast another spell, but we are good. Kind of concerning that they were all just right there. Is everyone a traitor? Maybe so. What? Says, that sneering vile talk. raptor Zelot is calling me out for not doing my share? Bah. Let me guess. Lottie had you kill any trolls that smelled of blood magic, yes? Well, that is barely a half measure. See, blood magic comes from the old ways, and our people have only been giving in to its allure since the, well, since the walls fell on our northern border. Come, we will go for a nice ride. Not even nice, I can't read. For a little ride and patrol the border of Nazmir. That is where all these bad ideas are coming from. I will call out the best spots, and you can have the honor of tossing down a sentry totem. Oh, okay. I assume that's the spot over there. How do I? Like this? Yes. Right. Okay, toss that there. I think. Did I do that right? A few years back. I think so. This whole land shook during the There's just dinosaurs everywhere. This is crazy, man. And swarms Plop of blood troll savages poured through. That was yes. when we got our first taste of real blood magic. Not that petty nonsense practiced by the lesser tribes. Oh, next one coming up. Did I miss that? No, I think- Oh! Yeah, I'm fine. Our defenses grow weaker. Princess Talanji has been asking for more troops, but her father has not acted fast enough, and she has turned to the Horde. A few branches to the face there. Oh, another one. 
Not a week goes by that we do not see some Zandalari turning to blood magics learned from those heretics in Nazmir. Hmm. Something feels different. I sense a great power resonating inside Zanchul. It's too far away. What do you mean? Just throw it, man. <laughs> I will leave you with Lottie. Let her know the cause of all this trouble may lie within Zanchul itself. Oh! The, nice landing there. Appreciated it. <laughs> Just toss me off. Oh, Master so that bent tusk shit. nose breather is trying to win you over with a little flight and some charm, eh? Ooh, we have a choice here. Okay, well, we already have both of these things. One gives critical strike and versatility, and one gives haste and mastery. Otherwise, it seems like they are pretty much the same. I don't really know what would be better. So they both seem like they'd be good. I mean, our mastery is already pretty high, though. Well, probably not pretty high, but you know, it's higher than the other things. We'll take this one, I think. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing, okay? I am more druid Lottie. I know that, man. Why are you telling me again? The courtyard of Zenshul has been overrun by pterodaxes driven mad by some dark ritual. Power is coalescing here, and it's hard to tell who or what is causing it. I need to track down the source. In the meantime, you take this, the power of, of Gonk, and call his allies to help you in battle. Slay these maddened pterodaxes. When you are done, tell Rawl to get his flock under control. So we just need to slay six of those and shoo away 20 of the hatchlings. I guess we could go ahead and do that real quick. I was thinking about ending it there because I figured that was kind of all the quests over here, but now she has given us more. Okay, let's go kill some stuff real fast. Ah, I guess these are all the ones I need to shoo, huh? How do I do that? Just like that, I see. Uh, now there is a big one right there that I assume I need to deal with, and I'm a little bit intimidated by it. Can we do that? There we go. Uh, I guess I'll go ahead and shoo these first. I don't know if they'll help the big one if I start attacking. Oh, well, he came to get me anyway. <laughs> no big deal, it's fine. Oh, no, interrupt him. Interrupt him. <gasps> yes. Okay, not so bad. Kind of wasted that last move there on accident. It be like that sometimes. What is this? Oh, so glowy. Let's keep shooing these. <laughs> just a, a mild infestation here. Just, just mild. We'll go ahead and get rid of this one, because I don't think the others attack us, so... Oh, they're very fast. Oh, I don't even think I have to click on them. I think I just walk up to them. So I do. Okay. <laughs> oh, I didn't interrupt. Oh god, no, I got two of them. Maybe let's, uh... Can I... Transform you. There we go. Polymorph, that's the word. Maybe I should heal up a little. You know, I could eat some jerky. Just for the fun of it, you know? <laughs> They're probably gonna respawn right on me. Yeah, and I'm going to get attacked. But you know, at least I got to heal a little bit, huh? Oh my god. Let's go this way. Just scare off more of these things for a little while. Oh, but there's another one! Oh, this is a good one. Mm. I can't even interrupt him yet. Oh. Uh... There we go. God. I need- I need my jerky. Hide in this plant. Eat some jerky. Beautiful sight. <laughs> we don't even need to kill any more of those. <laughs> we just need to scare off the hatchlings, but I think we're probably gonna be attacked by more. Okay. Two more hatchlings. That's easy. And then we'll have to get past that guy, but... Mm. It'll be fine. Maybe. Maybe he won't see us. I kinda doubt that. There's another quest down there, isn't there? Hmm. We won't worry about it yet. We'll focus on the task at hand, which is getting around these dudes. <laughs> okay, we should be good. All right, let's go ahead and turn both of those in. Did you have to kill so many? Oh, Choose sorry. Why are you scaring away my flock? Yeah, they, they, they're bickering over some stuff, huh? Okay, I know this situation is serious, but she gave you the power of her, her Loa? Sounds to me like Lottie is more big on recruiting than on dealing with this blood troll threat. Inside the temple behind me are three guardians. When I walked in there, the things tried to kill me. Me. Someone has corrupted our own guardians. Here I will lend you the voice of my own Loa, Paku, the Pterodax. Use it to crush this corruption. They're all just kind of in this area. I mean, I could do this one too. Mix. Probably. Yeah, we'll do that real quick. This whole series is just going to be me being like, yeah, we could probably do that real quick. That'll be fine. Uh, I guess we'll target you first. I'm a little bit scared, but... It's fine. Oh no, he definitely knows this was. <laughs> oh no, 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 don't doom gaze me, please. I think. Did he? I'm not sure. I tried to interrupt, but I think I was too late. 
Oh, look at his run. Sorry about this. Oh, don't do it. Ooh. Okay, now we're fighting you. Should I wait for my counter spell to come back up? It'll probably be fine. Hopefully no one else will, uh... Respawn or anything. These guys aren't, they aren't that bad. <laughs> my character sounded like he, he thinks otherwise, but... Oh, God. Okay, that one is dead. And now we have one more off over here somewhere. Can I go around you? Are you gonna allow that? I don't know. No, you're not. I need a target. This is your target, man. Ah, here's the last one. Well, you know what? I guess we can go ahead and polymorph you, huh? We'll do it. Get out of here. Let's deal with you. He's got another friend over there which might attack us. No, he's kind of stupid. Okay. Okay, there we go. That guy's still a sheep, but you know, that's not really my problem, is it? We'll just, we'll just go back. Oh, they're both up here. Is that really this is worse than we thought. Good news, we found the sources of the corruption. The bad news, it is a ritual on the apex of Zenchul. Blood magic wielding heretics are empowering some sort of dire troll up there. How it made its way all the way up to the apex without us catching it is something I am sure Rawl and I will be arguing about for the next year. Come, let us stop this heresy. Well, that sounds like a completion to this little quest storyline, so... Yeah, yeah sure. Can. Oh yeah, definitely. Hi. Mm. Are y'all coming with me? No? It's just me? I'm just one little wizard, man. Maybe we can get rid of this cultist first, huh? That'd be good. Mm. Oh no, they're here now, they're here now. And the cultists are gone. I'll take that. Yeah, they're they're distracting it. That's fine. Oh, no, no. Oh, I tried. I was a little too late. <laughs> Sorry. I was just trying to refamiliarize myself. <laughs> Wasn't paying attention to the ground, but now I am. Ah. Can I interrupt those? Those jumps? I don't think so. Yeah, it's enemy spell cast, so surely not. The warrior has something that interrupts all moves, I think. I could be wrong, though. You are to mention my sister. Well, there we go. I will not have that blood in my temple. Oh no, we still do have more to do. Look, this has gone on long enough, Adamo. Yes. I'm not one to hold a grudge, but I will be damned if I let you double dip with Rawls Loa and my own. Time has come to pick a Loa. The Loa are not sharing type. Or not the sharing type. Make you Gonk, <laughs> master of ships I and don't... lord of the hunt is a powerful Loa. He can grant you access to his many totems throughout the city that will increase your speed just by being near them. Sure, yeah, like if you speed. like running, if you want to soar, see Paku, Loa of Winds. Her totems are few, we all know how much I but like provide games. flying shortcuts throughout the city. So, I think Is I'm gonna go really with Lottie. I think that's good. <sighs> the Loa be strong here. Excellent. We will be fast now. You, you can find ice. Gonk in his lair west Gonk, of here, in the Garden of the Loa. You feet. should be able to see his totems. Run near them to improve your speed. I'll continue to purge the heretics from this temple. Mind your manners around the Loa, or he may rip your throat out. Great! You Love that for me. Gotta go way over there to bargain with him, so... I think that might be where I call it. We'll, we'll continue with this in the next episode, I think. But yeah, guys, I do hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, don't forget to leave this video a like. Maybe let me know in the comments. I think I was a, a little bit more confused in this episode. Oh, oh, hi, big lady. <laughs> Rid of my outro, come on. But I'm still getting into the swing of things. It'll be fine. I'll get used to it. And figure out more so about the world and what's going on within it. But yeah, maybe consider supporting my coffee or Patreon if you want to help out the channel. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.